I love that show, man. That show was my shit. As some of you may know, I am a huge comic book fan. I can't believe it's taking me so long to do a video about something comic book related. I've read I don't know how many comics, and Batman is no exception. Batman seems to be everybody's favorite, probably from pure badassery, so it's only fitting that I take him on first. Now, I'm pretty sure everyone knows about Batman. His origins, his themes, his villains, everything. I mean, he's only had his story told over and over again for the past 75 years in video games and movies and TV shows. Uh. But what you might not know is Batman is fucking insane. As far as I can tell, Batman comic writers have gone a long while without realizing they've basically created a very high-functioning paranoid schizophrenic that suffers from severe flares of psychosis. And I'll prove it. First, young Bruce Wayne witnesses the murder of his parents, and instead of grieving like a normal person and then going on to inherit and enjoy the millions of his dollars he gets from his parents, he dresses like a bat and beats up people for a living. Oh my god! Bob! Dad! I am the knight! I can tell you with absolute certainty that nothing like that has ever happened. There have been plenty of people that suffer tragedies like these and go on to join the police force or something, but no one slaps on a pair of tights and starts busting karate moves in dark alleys. Even in a world where costumed heroes are the norm, you'd have to be crazy to join them with nothing but a batarang and some smoke pellets. Don't worry, Justice League. We'll fend off this alien invasion. I brought extra smoke pellets. Ah, a part of me always hated that voice he did in the movies. It's so guttural and grisly, it's goofy. Alliteration. I mean, I get, no, oh, I don't want anyone to recognize my voice, but I swear to God, it's still goofy. Swear to me! Second, the sheer magnitude of Batman's physical ability suggests that he is sometimes incredibly detached from reality. Batman has been poisoned multiple times, stabbed multiple times, shot multiple times, and beaten and broken in half, and he just keeps on trucking. That is so stupidly impossible, it can only be attributed to him being batshit crazy. Oh, he said batshit crazy. Some will say it's his training or his sheer force of will that allow him to do these things, and I'll say, no, dipshit, it's still impossible. While it's entirely possible to be shot or stabbed in a vital area, more than once even, and survive, you can't just get stabbed and shot up a bunch of times and be cool and just keep on fighting bad guys. It's not how it works. Not Batman, though. His body eats bullets. Mmm. <laughs> Delicious. No amount of kung fu is gonna keep your organs from leaking. That's stupid. Master Bruce, you've been shot. You need medical attention. No, Alfred. I need red whites. What? To plug the holes up, Alfred. I need to get back out there. Gotham needs me. Come on, Robin, let's go. Third. Robin! What part of Robin makes sense? Hey! I'm a masked vigilante fighting the worst villains, committing the worst crimes in the worst city in all of DC! Let me have a fucking 12-year-old follow me around all night long! That's crazy! Batman, you're crazy! Come on, Robin! If we stop the Joker from releasing his toxin on Gotham, I'll get his ice cream afterwards. Holy Rocky Road, Batman! You got a deal! What always made me laugh was Batman had a full body suit, usually with some kind of armor, and all Robin had was a short sleeve shirt, a speedo, and some ankle high Peter Pan shoes. Batman didn't give a shit about that kid. That or he gave too many shits about that kid and just liked watching him run around in that little outfit. They used to sleep in the same bed. There's some potentially weird stuff going on there. Fourth, his arch nemesis, the Joker. Now you would think at some point something would be done about him, but no, never does. And let's just ignore the fact that Gotham's justice system, no matter what he does, never gives him a death sentence. You would think after his 98th murderous rampage, Batman would take matters into his own hands, but no, he just keeps bringing them back into the police. Okay, Joker, that's 212 deaths you racked up this time. Not your best work, but still pretty up there. Oh, you know me, Batman. It's not about the high scores. I just love playing the game. Oh, you rascal. Come on, let's go get some ice cream before I bring you in. That's bullshit. He would have pushed that clown down a flight of stairs made it look like an accident if he wasn't crazy. But he is, so he keeps letting him come back to do what he does best. Crazy killer clown crap. And fifth, Batman is as paranoid as a Vietnam War vet. He doesn't trust anyone. Maybe Alfred, but probably not even Alfred. There is a comic called Tower of Babel that was later adapted for an animated feature film called Justice League Doom that is about, basically... Batman sitting down and saying to himself, 
How am I going to whip the Justice League's ass if they try me one day? He really sat down and worked out equations on his back computer to figure out how to whip his friend's asses. Just in case. It's a great read if you want to check it out. I highly recommend it. And so I close my case. Batman is crazy as hell and we all love him for it. Now on to some nerd stuff because that is half the fun of being a comic guy. For instance, Batman was originally supposed to look like this guy. But the big homie Bill Finger stepped in and made sure he looked more appropriate for someone that was supposed to be mysterious and dark. Thank goodness because he looked like a nerdy little douche. Oh man, I hope I don't have to hurt anyone fighting crime today. Uh... Turkey has a city named Batman. And it totally sucks. Don't go there. Batman's favorite food is mulligatoni soup. India's national soup. And yes, there is such a thing as a national soup. Don't even worry about it. I didn't know about it either. Totally want to try that soup now, though. The flavor and the spice. The true voice of Batman is Kevin Conroy. He's the guy from the animated series, many of the animated movies, and the Arkham series games. When you imagine Batman's voice, you're imagining Kevin Conroy's voice. Hey, is seeing the actor that plays the voice of any particular character a buzzkill? Like, are you going to see that person's face when you hear that character? voice now? Good, I ruined Batman. Speaking of the games, if you've ever played an Arkham game and thought, holy moly, that cape looks so real, well, that's probably because there was a game designer working on just that cape for two years straight. I bet people would call him up just to fuck with him about it. So what'd you do today? The same thing I do every day, Mom! Try to finish this cape! Batman used to kill people. A lot. Even using a machine gun once to take down a group of henchmen. But my favorite is when he straight lynched a dude. So what's your excuse for the Joker, Bats? What's your excuse? The main reason why Batman stopped killing people is because he and a few other titles had become so violent that the creation of the Comics Code Authority was inevitable. And they censored everything to the point where Batman had basically become a Boy Scout. Alliteration. That's how we got Adam West goofy ass to play Batman. That's why that happened. Neil Adams is one of the men you can thank for bringing back the dark, gritty Batman from the campy claws of Adam West's depiction. Once the CCA was done away with, he came in and made him a bamf again. I actually got to interview him at Denver's first Comic Con, and we even had a little roast session that he almost won. Say what? You think you're pretty much I don't have lips as big as yours. Now, just because you're coming here to kiss me, doesn't mean I'm going to kiss you back. I'm not opposed to the idea. Well, I know you're not. People with lips like yours always step in where they're not welcome. You throw them lips around like you own something. Dude is a savage. Okay, there you guys go. That's my video. Hope you like it, and I hope you're looking forward to my next one, MK Love Superman. You guys keep laughing. I'll see you later. Bat Boom! Honestly, why would he keep a kid around? Keep putting him in dangerous situations for some twisted thrill, then taking him home to share your bed. Little boys keeping you young? Batman, you're sick!